Hi, and welcome to our telehealth information series. I'm Garvin, and this video is on Barraclude. So, what is Barraclude used for? Barraclude is used for the treatment of chronic hepatitis B. And how does Barraclude work? So, Barraclude tablets and oral solution contain the active ingredient Entesavir, which is a type of a medicine called a nucleoside analogue. Entesavir is an antiviral medicine used to treat hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is a virus that infects the liver and leads to liver damage. Once the virus is inside the liver cells, it multiplies. Part of this process involves the virus making copies of its genetic material or DNA. This is achieved by a compound essential to the virus called viral DNA polymerase. So viral DNA polymerase is a compound known as an enzyme. Entesavir works by blocking the action of this enzyme. This stops the virus from multiplying. Entesavir lowers the amounts of hepatitis B virus in the body. This leads to a reduction in the liver damage and an improvement in liver function. This medicine is usually taken once daily, either with or without food. However, if you're switching from taking lamivudine to this medicine it is necessary to take it on an empty stomach so your doctor will give you advice on this if it relates to you so this means taking the medicine at least two hours after a meal or two hours before a meal barraclude may make you feel dizzy or sleepy and could affect your ability to drive or operate machinery you should not drive obviously or operate machinery until you know how this medicine affects you and you're sure it won't impair your performance. Barraclude is to be used with caution in people with decreased kidney function, in obese women, people with enlarged liver, people who have liver cirrhosis with complications, or severely decreased liver function. People co-infected with HIV and taking antiretroviral medicines particularly if they also have a low CD4 count. So next, Baraclude should not be used in people co-infected with HIV who are not taking medicines for their HIV infection. Baraclude is not recommended for children and adolescents under 18 years of age as its safety and effectiveness have not been established in this age group. Baraclude tablets contain lactose and should not be taken by people with rare hereditary problems of galactose intolerance. The LAP lactose deficiency or glucose galactose malabsorption. Baraclude oral solution contains malitol and should not be taken by people with rare hereditary problems of fructose intolerance. Baraclude should not be used if you're allergic one or any of its ingredients so tell your doctor or pharmacist if you have previously experienced such an allergy if you feel you've experienced an allergic reaction stop taking this medicine and tell your doctor or pharmacist immediately so next what about taking baraclude in pregnancy and breastfeeding so what are the recommended guidelines the safety of this medicine for use during pregnancy has not been established. Since the effect on the developing fetus are unknown, women who could get pregnant should use effective contraception to prevent pregnancy while taking this medicine. It is not known if this medicine passes into breast milk. Mothers who need to take this medicine should not breastfeed their infants. So the side effects, the main side effects of Baraclude. So the following are some side effects that are known to be associated with this medicine. First of all is headache, fatigue, dizziness, feeling sick or nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, indigestion, sleepiness and difficulty sleeping and insomnia. For more information about any other possible risks associated with this medicine, you need to read the information provided with the medicine or talk to your doctor or pharmacist for more information. 
how can this medicine affect other medicines or any interactions? Entesivir is removed from the body via the kidneys. If it is taken with any other medicines that can reduce kidney function or that compete with entesivir for removal by the kidneys, then this may increase the amount of barocloid or the other medicine in the body. So that is not good. It is recommended that people taking barocloid with any such medicines should have regular checks to assess if they are experiencing any side effects. So your doctor or pharmacist will know which medicines to look out for. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact us to our website, mytelehealth.info or call into Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork or ring 021-436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.